Governor Northam's March 15th deadline of getting students back to the classroom is about a month away now. Local school divisions are working around the clock to prepare. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you with a breakdown of some of those plans. Hey, Annie. Jenna, good morning. Newly released CDC guidelines show that students can return to the classroom safely. But now, as you mentioned, school divisions here in our region are working around the clock to make sure those standards can be met. Now, a majority of students in Roanoke City Schools haven't seen a full week of in-person learning in almost a year. Most students have been doing a mix of in-person and virtual learning. Roanoke City Superintendent says she is proud to have some of her students back in the classroom Room, but there are concerns over high community spread of COVID-19 in the city. We have been inching our way forward step by step, methodically, carefully, responsibly, understanding that our region is in high burden and substantial transmission. We understand that, but we also understand the importance of, of children um, being in school. The superintendent says the school division is working very closely with the Roanoke City and Allegheny Health Districts to welcome those students back safely. Now, the final reopening plans are expected to be presented to a school board in the upcoming weeks. Live in the newsroom this morning, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.